Listen, um, I'm gonna have scattered thoughts in this video. Um, I actually wasn't even supposed to record today, but I just had a, a conversation that really, really bothered me. Um, that seems to be like indicative of a, a bigger issue. So let's have a conversation about being on the job hunt and job hunting and really this is a conversation about having a growth mindset, right? So if you don't know what a growth mindset is, having a growth mindset basically just means that, you know, you can look at your failures objectively and you honestly believe that deep down in your heart, deep down in your soul, that you can improve and you can become better at things. And you actually commit to discovering the problems in your life or discovering the problems that you have when you interview and because of that um, eventually you end up getting to where you want to go now uh, I made a video and posts across social media about graduating from coding boot camp in 2018 and still not having a full-time job as a web developer in January of 2020 there's a lot of things that I left out. There's a lot of things that happened. There's a lot of reasons as to why I didn't get the job. But ultimately, what I realized was that it was me. Um, it wasn't because the job market is tough. It wasn't because, you know, new graduates are coming out of college and boot camp every six months and it's only getting more competitive. Um, I heard that today. And the, the thing is, you know, um, the law of attraction is real, right? So for instance, if you're applying to jobs and you feel that, you know, there's so much competition, there's always been more competition, that the industry is saturated with boot camp grads and computer science graduates, and it's only going to get tougher if you don't get a job today or tomorrow or this month, you're going to go into interviews and people are gonna feel off about you and you're not gonna get that feedback because people can feel your anxiety and people can sense that 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 level of insecurity if you're so insecure that all you think about is your competition you're just not gonna be a great interviewer and you're not gonna be someone that's interesting to speak to because most of your responses will just feel like you're telling me things that I want to hear instead of telling me things that are actually unique about you and your perspective and the life that you live. And let's also be honest here, you know, being able to be a web developer or a designer or a software engineer, whatever title that you use, um, just being able to do that sit in front of a computer all day as a career is a privilege it's a privilege to live in the united states regardless of how you feel about the president or how you feel about you know anything political um regardless of how you feel about your life you know the median income in america is about like fifty thousand for a family which makes us <laughs> some of the richest people in the world even if you're making you know 25,000 USD like a year, you know what I'm saying? You could be at the bottom of the totem pole in America and still we are more fortunate than people in other countries and other cities and other places all around the world, okay? Not just, you know, on a certain continent. Um, so I think that when you're job hunting, you know, the job hunt is there's a couple things you have to conquer right like putting your best self forward is a thing that will improve the odds of you getting a job um demonstrating to employers or prospective employers is also a hump that we have to get over but really it, it all starts here okay and there's no substitute for having heart there's no substitute for being positive um, there's no substitute for being optimistic. These are the types of people that everybody wants to work with. They may hire someone that isn't 
optimistic or positive or has a growth mindset. But in reality, we'd all prefer to work with someone that is positive, that's outgoing, and that believes that they can conquer any challenge that come across. We don't want to work with someone that whines and complains about the difficulties of every little thing. We all face adversity, whether, you know, you believe someone's adversity is as valid as yours or as difficult as yours is a totally different subject. But we all face difficult things in life. We all experience pain. We all experience failure. We all, you know, upset ourselves. So on this job hunt, you know, it's very important that you don't fall into this trap of being cynical and being pessimistic and just being negative. Because what's been happening to me is that I make these very honest videos about why I failed at doing something, um, like why I failed at getting a job after graduating from boot camp. And I start getting these messages and everyone's like, yeah, you know, interviewing's hard and finding a job is hard. I agree with you on those things. I can empathize with you. Like I can imagine myself in your shoes dealing with that because I've personally experienced how hard it is to not even apply to a job, but literally to just find a listing that I feel like I would be a good fit for. That in and of itself is like such a huge barrier to otherwise finding a role that I might be like a perfect fit for, you know? So you, you can't, you have to be honest with yourself. Um, people message me and inevitably we get to a point where I say, you know, hey, um, what type of feedback are you getting from your interviews? Like, what are people saying? You know, I had one guy tell me he's applied to like over a hundred. Um, I had another guy just say that, you know, the job hunts hard. And this was the guy that sparked this video that just started going off on a, a bunch of shit about how it's only going to get more difficult because more people are coming out. And, you know, my thing is, what feedback are you getting? The thing is, when I asked that question, the first person that sent me a message, he just didn't reply at all. So I guess he just wanted to complain and bitch about the job hunt process. The second person... He starts to get defensive and he says that his feedback is always pretty good, even though he doesn't get the role. Sorry, I need to get my cat. Give me one second. Hey, mama. I know. Yeah, I know. You want to be in the video. Um, and anyone that responds to a question that way, like, okay, if you aren't getting feedback as to why you didn't get the job um, after every interview from every company if you aren't seeking out feedback basically what you are doing is mentally you're probably going to end up placing the blame on the company uh, other applicants competition and what happens is you're going to end up in a bad loop because when that happens people feel like oh i need to go back to school and get another degree or get a degree or I need to go to boot camp, even though I already have a, a degree in computer science or mechanical engineering or whatever. And now you start to overcompensate for your perceived shortcomings that may not even exist. Like the reason that a lot of you probably didn't get a job is literally because someone connected with the interviewer more than you and they weren't more talented than you are or smarter than you are. To this day, they probably still aren't as capable as you are. But if you don't ask, you'll never know. And what opened my eyes to this was I had a round of good interviews with a company um, called Mediavine. And they weren't technical interviews. They were more so like personal interviews. And I didn't get the job, even though I thought I would. And a couple of days, you know, after waiting around and hearing back if they would send me an offer or not, I got a message that literally said, hey, you know, you interviewed well, everyone liked you, we loved your resume and the experience that you had. We literally just had more experienced candidates apply to the job and it was a tough call and we just didn't pick you. And 
like, how can you be mad at that? That's actual feedback. <laughs> but you have to ask for feedback. So many of us are not asking for feedback when we go out and interview. And really, it's like, what the fuck do you expect? Putting out 600 applications doesn't mean shit if you don't hear any feedback about your resume or your interviewing. Like, you're just going to keep basically throwing your resumes into this black hole and not knowing why, literally not knowing, is going to drive you fucking nuts. It's going to drive you crazy. So, I just want to encourage you if you're on a job hunt, you know, really look into what having a growth mindset is really look into the the law of attraction because most importantly if you don't feel good about yourself in terms of other people in the world if you feel like you always have to compete for resources like a job and you always have to compete for money you know our strategies are completely different and i will outwork you because your thought process is completely different. In my case, if I apply to a job, I will message 5, 10, 15, 20 people that work at that company on LinkedIn because I really believe that I'm a great fit for the role and that I would really benefit the company. I truly believe that. I truly believe that any company that I start working at, like I will change the bottom line. I will bring value. I will help the company make more money. That's literally, at the end of the day, what we're getting paid to do. We're getting paid to work on products and software as a service and different applications that will increase the bottom line of a company. You know, there's a direct connection between having talented developers working on good products and those products bringing in money. That's that's what we're doing at the end of the day. You you can't beat around the bush. This is not about, you know, it's about more than just passion. It's about being able to add value, being able to literally come into a company and leave it better off than it was before you got there. Stop messing with the camera, crazy mama. Get down. And if you believe that, you know, Things are inconsequential or that they don't matter because you're in such a rush. You're so anxious to get a job. You have to get a job. And if you don't, it's going to be the end of the fucking world. You're going to get lazy because you're constantly going to be upset, you know, bothered, frustrated with the fact that you're not getting what you want. But that's the thing. Getting a job is less about you getting what you want and more about you demonstrating what you can actually do for your employer that's what this all boils down to so keep that in mind like if you have a shitty outlook on life eventually you're gonna get outworked or someone's gonna outthink you someone's gonna like outplay you because your mindset is gonna cause you to be lazy do stupid shit or do nothing at all and like you're gonna fall behind as opposed to you know always seeing opportunities for growth with the growth mindset you'll constantly be improving yourself to try to stay ahead of the curve or try to keep up you'll realize that we're always vulnerable there's no substitute for that um i feel like i talked long enough and harped long enough on this but uh, yeah, I will be very interested to see what type of feedback I get on this video because honestly, you know, and I'll just put it out there, you know, a lot of men that are looking for jobs in tech, like you guys are just mentally soft. You can't deal with rejection. I get it. I was one of those guys. I was depressed because I was getting rejections and like eventually you have to realize that like this, this shit starts with us. There's no substitute for self-esteem. If you're not secure in who you are to some extent, like it doesn't matter. You can watch a million YouTube videos. You can watch me. You can watch all these different guys, tech lead, whoever the fuck you want to watch on YouTube. It, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? But I, I really want, you know, I want us as developers, especially as junior developers looking for our first job. Like we can't be so cynical and so negative. We have to continue to grow otherwise like you might as well just pick a different career so 
we'll end it there. Um, if you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. I really do.